guys, I'm Chris Orb. Welcome back to the home office of the show. Earlier this week, I got a chance to sit down with Sarah Baldwin, who is our volunteer assistant young adult coordinator. Long title, I know. But together, me and Sarah got to talking in a brand new segment called Rooftop Conversation. Young adults with perspective. You get it? The double meaning? Rooftop perspective? You get it. You get it. Anyway, let's go to that conversation now. So everybody, welcome. Sarah Baldwin, say hi, Sarah. Hello, everybody. Where are you? I am currently on my roof of my house. Why? Why are you on your roof? Because you told me to, Chris. <laughs> That's true. It was my fault. This is Sarah. Now, she is a volunteer here, but she essentially runs the Young Adult Program. You may have heard um, that I'm the Young Adult Coordinator, so why do I have her doing this? Well, first off, I can't do nearly enough for the young adults, and we just so happen to have volunteers like Sarah, who love to do a ton of things for young adults. But enough about me. Let's hear from Sarah. Tell me, what are just... Just, just give us a, a taste of some of the things going on with the young adults. Um, so we have a weekly Bible study that we do every Sunday morning. Um, we started it this past Advent. Um, it was great. There were always snacks involved. It was awesome. And we've continued that now. We do men's and women's groups. We've gone hiking, beach cleanup, broom ball is my personal favorite. Um, just a bunch of people doing stuff that they would usually like to do, but they're doing it with their church friends, and it's been really good. So how do people find out about these things that are going on with you? Some of it's word of mouth. Um, a lot of social media, we're really active on Instagram. A lot of it's people inviting other people that they know, their siblings, their friends, um, people they went to school with. I've actually been really surprised and impressed at how our Instagram reach has kind of gone. Um, but yeah, it's been really good so far. That's awesome. What is your Instagram in case somebody wanted to follow? It is at St. Hedwig Young Adults. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually super jealous of everything she does. I mean, it's weird to be jealous of somebody that's helping you do your job, but I am because the <laughs> The Instagram is insane, what's going on over there. So if you're just a fan of good content, then check out uh, the Young Adult Instagram. Why, Sarah, on earth do you do so much as a volunteer? All right, so I said this is the new segment, Rooftop Conversations. Young adults with perspective, what deep thoughts do you have for us, Sarah? Do you really want to know? Oh, gosh. All right, my deep thought for this quarantine time is just how incredibly much I miss the sacraments. Yeah. This sucks. <laughs> That's not true. There's a lot of good things that have come out of it, but the most challenging thing by far has not been having access to the Eucharist and confession and seeing people that I know miss out on confirmation and first communion and weddings. It's just really making me realize how much I took the sacraments for granted. Um, I actually got to serve as a Eucharistic minister during the last weekend of Sunday Masses. Oh. And I kind of knew, at that point, I pretty much knew that that was going to be the last one. But, yeah. yeah, it just kind of made me realize how not only important that role is, but how blessed we are to have that sacrament, and especially so readily available here. There's so many parts of the world. Kind of my first thought on that Sunday was, there's a lot of parts of the world where they don't, they don't get to have this every Sunday. And when they do, totally. it's like crazy that's the conversation i've been having a lot with people like in my position as, I, as i'm reaching out to the different families is that we are all kind of realizing that we have this privilege that we didn't know we had the beauty of our faith like it was really cool matt zemanek was one of our last uh growing in faith speakers and he talked about the true gospel and how uh our faith is so much even deeper than sacrament how sacraments aren't like the only thing that get us into heaven Jesus sacrifice was and now we're seeing that we're seeing that our faith is being challenged beyond the sacraments which is like kind of intense and like you said when we start realizing that there are places in the world where this is the norm where they get to go to the sacraments like once or twice a year it's kind of crazy to think how great we've been having it <laughs> our whole lives yeah right when I was a sophomore in college, I got to go on a focus mission trip to Mexico City, which was a great trip for so many reasons, but one of the days we went to the city dump, and there's several groups of people, families and kind of extended families that live at the dump. And there's a, there were two Catholic groups, and we had a priest with us, so we got to have mass at the dump, and it had been, I think, about a year since the last time 
those people were able to have masks. And you could just tell by the looks in their eyes and their faces that they were just so, so happy to have access to the sacraments. There was a woman actually who went to confession while we were there for the first time in 27 years. Wow. It was wild. I remember there was this one retreat I went on where uh, it was for confirmation, but we're offering the sacrament of, of reconciliation. And um, there was this one girl who came up and it was at a completely different time of the uh, confession wasn't really offered, but we'd said the priest was open to it the whole time. And she just came up and she was really quiet. She's like, can I please go to confession? And then um, I went and found the priest. He was happy to do it. And I remember um, when she came back, I could see her face. And it wasn't just that there were some tears, but it was like she looked younger and happier. And it was like a transformation. And it's kind of crazy when we take that step back away, that step back towards God and the sacraments again can be a really powerful one. Right? Mm -hmm. I remember like she was different from that day on. She wanted to join our leadership team. She was there every week doing everything. It was kind of crazy. I'd never seen a change in somebody so quickly. Wow. That's awesome. Grace. It is awesome. That'll do it. Grace, <laughs> indeed. Well, that brings an end to this episode, but if you want to see the rest of our conversation, be sure to tune in tomorrow right here on this same channel for the rest of the show. Remember, St. Hedwig Online is all about highlighting what makes St. Hedwig so special, and trust me when I say that that's you. So if you want to be a part of this show, just email me. My email is in the description down below this video, right next to the link to donate to St. Hedwig. Be sure to use that if you want to be a part of keeping this whole place run. With that, I just want to say peace be with you, and we'll see you tomorrow.